Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in Scratch. Today we're going to build a top-down 2D zombie shooter game. So it should be lots of fun. So let's get going. First thing, we're going to want to get rid of our standard assets that come with Scratch. So we definitely don't want a cat for something like a zombie game. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to upload our own graphics. Now you'll find some decent ones on um, on Google. I managed to find this after very little looking and this is you know a good nice little graphic to make our game look good. First thing we need to resize him because he's a bit big for our game at the moment so we just use the select tool here and we're gonna make him a more appropriate size. So we're gonna bring that size right down because we want plenty of room to play and the next thing we're gonna want to do is centrally position him so it's very faint but you can probably just about see the little crosshair here we're going to want to move him so the center of him is right over that and it will kind of snap to um, when you sort of get close to it and secondly we want him facing the right way for the start of the game so we just want to rotate him around 90 degrees okay so that's our shooter character done the next thing we're going to want to do is get a backdrop for our stage something again a little bit more interesting so down here we just click on the upload background tab and again here's one i downloaded earlier um, choose whatever you want i just quite like this one um, nice little texture and again we're just going to make sure we draw all the way around that and resize it so it covers the whole of the playing area and instantly we've got something that's starting to look you know more interesting so next job click back on your shooter character and we're going to jump straight into the code now so as with many of these games we're going to start with a when green flag clicked and then a forever loop next we want to sort out our keyboard control and for that we're going to need four if blocks so we're just going to drop those in there and next we're going to, make, going to move on to check what key is pressed so under sensing you'll find these so key pressed and we can just drop those in and then we're going to go through and add our keys so we're going to want to use potentially WASD you can use arrows if you prefer it's you know personal preference to whatever keyboard controls you want most gamers prefer WS, WSAD so um, we're going to use that so W, S, A, and D. So get those set up. There we go. So next thing, we're going to have to change the way he moves. So for W, we're going to want him to go sort of up the screen. So we're going to go back to motion. And we're going to change X by 5 to go up the screen. We're going to then change, sorry, change Y by 5. To go up the screen so X is left and right Y is up and down so we'll change Y by 5 if we press the W now if we press the S we're gonna have to change Y by a negative amount to make him come down the screen so put minus 5 in there so that's our up and down sorted left and right now we'll need this X and if A is pressed we'll want him to go by minus five to make him go left so let's just put minus five in there and then again we'll want to change x by plus five if we want him to go to the right now that will work but we're also going to be using the mouse to kind of fire so we're going to do one of the things you can see he goes left and right and up and down the screen so that's good but we also want to be able to point the gun so with one little bit of code we can achieve that so if right underneath all of the statements don't put it in here make sure it's right here at the bottom we say point towards mouse pointer now as you can see we've got a nice little sort of inbuilt aiming system we can walk and we can still aim so if a zombie comes in from behind you can quickly sort of turn and shoot that makes a nice little feature okay that's it for the first tutorial next tutorial we'll look at doing bullet fire and get that working for you thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you next time for learning how to shoot bye for now